Hi, welcome. My name is Guy Cochran, and today we're going to be taking a look at a stand from Manfrotto called the 420B. Now, why am I excited about a stand? Well, it's a little different than your typical everyday stand. You might notice that it's actually a lot taller. If I was traveling, I'd probably be pretty much stuck carrying this one around. But I'm going to show you something today that you most likely want to use in your studio. So we're going to show two different purposes, one for lighting and one for microphone. So we're gonna actually extend this boom out over the top of our talent's head. Now that's a lot more challenging to do when this one just goes straight up. Now Lowell does make a grip that you can use to attach, it's just a 5A stud and you can then put a little arm that shoots out. So that would be my solution if I was traveling. Unfortunately, that solution costs a lot more, like at least twice as much. So this is way under $200. The 420B is pretty inexpensive for what it does. So, I'll go ahead and open it up. It opens just like a regular stand. And the thing that makes this one different is we have a release that lets you go all the way up, and then you press this little lever, and watch what happens. Now we've got a tilting effect. So we can tilt it. And one thing to note, that when you do tilt it, there's a little sign here that says, warning, add, counterweight for boom use. The reason why they say that is because these things can become very tippy. So I would say not only add your counterweight, but you also want to put a leg sticking straight out. You want to do that so that it can't fall this way, especially if your talent's right there. You want to put one leg out, and then let's add some weight. Now if you're traveling, you probably don't want to use regular sandbags because they weigh 15 pounds. Uh, 10, 15 pounds, depending on which ones you get. And that's gonna soak up your 50 pound weight limit. So what we did is we got a rock steady bag from the guys over at PhotoFlex. And now we're just going to go ahead and drop this right in here. You could also put a counterweight here at the end, which would help out as well. I, I feel safe just putting one uh, set of at least 10 pounds down at the bottom. And once we've got that set up, we can go ahead and raise up. I'm not gonna raise it up too high just yet because I want to put something on the end. The end is a 5A female receiver. What we're going to add is this light. And one cool thing that they include is a 5A stud, but it also has 3A threading for a typical uh, shock mount for audio. It also has a quarter 20 for any other accessories you might want to put on. So we're going to uh, put the little LP micro on here and lock it down. The reason why I'm pretty excited about the LP Micro being a hair light is because if you've ever added a hair light above somebody, you have to run the cabling down and it's not that much fun. So I'm setting this all up away from the talent and then I'm gonna go ahead and position it uh, closer to her. So I'm gonna extend out a little bit and we're gonna go up. And swing it on over. Actually, if I want to keep my leg, my good leg, forward, I'll just move the whole thing right up above and then swing it over the top. And you can see the look. If we cut to the camera, we're able to see what kind of look we get. So without a hair light, with a hair light. So that's a pretty elusive look that some of you guys may not have been able to get in the past. And how easy was that? We just set it up with but it's one, two, three, four moves, so it's pretty easy to pull off. Now, even if you don't want to do this for a hair light, you could also use this as your main light. If we turn off all the lights in here, you could use one light, which is pretty amazing, because if you get a light really far away from your subject, it's gonna get dim really quick. So the closer you can get the light, the uh, less powerful it has to be. So in this case, the LP Micro, you can get it like right here, and it would be a great key light, along with a little reflector. So we've got the LP Micro on there, but we're going to go ahead and take it back in and we're going to switch over to an audio option. So some of you are a one-man band, like me, I go out and I do shoots, and I can't afford to have, there's just no budget in the production to have a boom operator the whole time. So I might have a wireless lav on the talent, but I, a lot of times, will add a shotgun or a hyper microphone depending on the size of the room. I like to have both, but Hyper's better in smaller rooms because it doesn't pick up a echo as much. 
also has a looser pattern. So sometimes uh, you might get a wireless hit if you're in a really RF heavy area, maybe near a TV station or something like that. You're able to have the backup of a hardwired microphone. And also the other thing with these microphones, they sound a lot fuller and thicker than a lavalier. So this capsule on here is huge. It's a half inch capsule and it just sounds really nice and thick. So th this is a Rode NT3, uh, to still under $300 for this microphone. So let's go ahead and position the microphone up a little bit higher. And we can move it over the top of our talent. Right there. And the closer the better. I mean, you should be hearing from your camera operator if you're not the camera operator. Or you could yell at yourself if you like. <laughs> Get that microphone out of the frame. I mean, you could see that we're just right, right there. And that's just going to give phenomenal sound when you can get a microphone that close. Uh, it shouldn't really bother the talent too much to have one that close. If they say it's in their face, you might want to back it up a little bit. But professional talent knows that the microphone needs to be as close as possible. Now, if you have two people, this is still kind of cool because you can raise up and lock it down. And let's position right about here. And let's grab another chair. So if I was doing an interview with two people and one microphone, I would try to get the microphone more towards the dominant person. Uh, or excuse me, I would try and get it away from the dominant person. If one guy talked a lot louder than the other person, you might want to move the microphone closer and not just split the difference down the center. So this is a great option for getting fabulous audio without having to hire a boom up for the day. In fact, the stand will pay for itself in one day. So again, this is the Manfrotto 420B, and thanks for watching.